We've got the ducted camping heater from Gasmate. It's a safe way to heat your tent or other confined spaces. Let's check it out. G'day guys, it's Lauren from Snowy's here. Today I've got the Gasmate ducted camping heater. It's a really safe option for heating your tent or camper trailer, being that the combustion unit is on the outside whilst ducting warm air into your tent. Now it comes in this oversized storage bag here with extra room for your gas cylinders down the end. Now let's have a look at what you get. Your carry bag does come with this optional shoulder strap here. We have some instructions and a manual there, which is important to have a read through. We have your main unit and also down the end here we have some space for the small gas canisters. Now whilst the unit is designed to primarily run from these canisters you can get some optional extra hoses to connect to a larger gas bottle and run it from that. Now the unit itself is 8.6 kilos so nice and light to move around. We have 43 centimetres from end to end, 21 centimetres across the top and 39 centimetres from the top of the handle down. Now on the back here, we have this nifty little storage compartment and in it, you'll find your 240 volt charger. Now this is charging the battery which runs the fan in your heater. It takes approximately five hours of charge time to get around about six hours of battery life out of the fan. We also have the regulator. Now the regulator is what connects your gas bottle to your unit. It connects in here. Now I forgot to mention before, but these propane cylinders are actually available separately. They connect to the unit here, but as I have already mentioned, you do have the option of connecting a normal gas bottle through an additional hose, but it's essential that you keep this regulator in use. Right, now we've got the gas connected. The last thing in our storage compartment is our ducted tubing. But we'll shut this back up. It's really important to keep it empty whilst in use because the underside can get quite hot in here. Now, you might be wondering about the insulation of the ducted tube. It's not insulated like you would expect your heating or air conditioning at home. However, it is double layered on the silver lining. This connects to the other end of the unit. However, on this side here is where we find our air intake valve, our battery charging port, and also our fuse. Now I'm gonna spin the unit around and connect the ducting tube up. Now the ducting connects on the other end of the unit. We have a little safety switch here where the unit won't engage without the ducting connected. Whilst we're on safety features, there's actually three. The oxygen deprivation system, where the unit will cut out in levels of low oxygen. We have the tip switch, where the gas disconnects as soon as the unit is tilted. And we also have the flame failure, which means if the flame goes out, the gas automatically disconnects. Right, let's connect this ducting. It's approximately 1.6 metres long, and it just connects onto the end of the unit like this. And connect the other end to the tent. Now I've got a gap in the side of the rooftop tent here, which you can pop the duct through. However, you can also fit it through a window gap or a door gap, or some tents might even have a vent flap that you can use it with. Right, now let's fire the unit up. On the front here, we have a switch. When pushed to the right hand side and the unit is charging, the red light will flash. When the red light is solid, the unit is fully charged. Move the switch over to the left hand side here and your green light will engage. You'll hear the fan come on and then you're ready to ignite your pilot light. Press you down your button for about 10 seconds. Then through this viewing window here, you'll see your pilot light come on. After about two to three minutes, once the burners had a chance to heat up and get red, you'll be able to see it glowing through this window here. So with reference to the gas runtime, you'll get about seven to eight hours out of a 450 gram propane bottle. The unit has 2,654 BTU, which puts out a maximum 58 degree air temperature measured at the outlet of the unit. Now it's been a couple of minutes, it's had a time to heat up. Let's have a check out of our burner window and we'll jump in the tent and see how it's going. Right, now using our super technical airflow detection device, we can see the ducts putting out a reasonable amount of air here. Now it's actually surprisingly pretty warm in here, even with the window vent rolled down. 
Obviously, the kind of tent you have and the amount of space you have to heat it will vary a little bit. However, if you're a cold frog, this is a really safe way to heat your tent while you're camping. You can get this at snowies.com.au at our everyday lowest prices. If you have any questions or comments, chuck them below. If you want to subscribe to our channel, head here. If you want any more helpful videos or tips, head here.